Hello guys, good afternoon. This is Mouseki's channel, and um, this is I think my sixth vlog right now. And I decided na hindi mo na pang beauty or ang pagkain, pagkain na anong product ang hindi discuss ko or ang masabihin ko. I share ko sa inyo. This is something about um, I'm not sure it's, if it's mental health or what. But if you are following me, if you're, if you're someone who is my friend at Facebook or other uh, so, social media accounts, I am discussing all about being an empath. So, hindi natin alam lahat. I bet maraming hindi nakakaalam sa inyo kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng empath. Um, on this vlog, it's just an introductory on what it's being like. So, sa mga susunod kong vlog, siguro may mga isi-share pa ako sa inyo on how you will be able to determine if you are one of us, if you're also an empath, or what. Okay? So, una-muna, ano yung pagiging empath? Misan, tinatawag din ang mga taong ganito na highly sensitive people or highly sensitive individual. So, sila yung mga tao na madaling maka-absorb ng mga energies sa paligid. Okay? So, those types of energies are the energies lang. Simpleng nararamdaman lang nung nagkatabi niya, nakausap niya, or kung ano yung energy na makikita niya sa room, or nararamdaman niya sa room. For some reason, mula pagkabata, I never thought that I would or I would encounter such a definition or such a description na babagay talaga sa kung ano yung nararamdaman ko. Akala ko dati, sa totoo lang, I'm a bipolar. Kasi, minsan bigla na lang akong, alam mo yun, yung hindi ka naman naiinis, pero for some reason, nagbubwisit ka. Or hindi ka naman, or minsan sobrang happy mo na hindi mo maintindihan. Mula pagkabata hanggang paglaki ko, those things, yun yung mga kinukupapan ko. Hanggang sa nalaman ko. And I'll just tackle it on other on my other vlogs on how I found out that, that I was, or that I am indeed an empath. So, when I found out, it all made sense. Yung pala, pag may nakatabi ko na tao, or may nakausap na tao, na sobrang happy, I tend to absorb it. Yes, I am absorbing it. Or misa naman, pagka sobrang inis, I am also absorbing it. And it's one of the greatest challenge of being an empath because you're absorbing, absorbing, absorbing those things. Um, dati, I thought of it as parang, bakit ganun? Ba't ko siya nalaramdaman? Pero, ngayong medyo nadidiscover ko na on how it is being an empath. I am trying to use it to my advantage na rin. It is a gift. I am thinking about it as a gift na lang. Not all people can sense other people's emotions, other people's energies. And right now, I could see that it's something na nararamdaman ko rin in nature and what's happening in the world. Kung makikita ninyo sa YouTube, marami na ang nakakaramdam o nakakaalam ng pagiging empath. So, I think I'm not the only one who is who, is, who knows about it. There are lots of people not only here in the Philippines who could who could um, talk about this type of or this type of um, I'm not sure if it's a condition or what, but I'm just thinking about it as a gift. Okay? I am using it para sa advantage or para makatulong na rin on other people. Minsan sasabihin ko, are you okay? Sa isang tao. And uh, it turns out na he or she is really not okay. So, kahit na hindi niya sinasabi kahit kanino, nararamdaman ko na hindi maganda yung nararamdaman niya na malungkot siya. And there are also those people who are telling me some things na hindi nila sinasabi sa ibang tao. 
because for some reason din uh, natatap ko or nasasabihan ko sila na if you're not okay you can tell that to me ang kaviat lang nun is na-absorb ko na so kung hindi ka talaga or kung if you are not an awakened empath or if you don't know anything about it makukonsume ka talaga madidrain yung energy mo maraming misconception na parang religious siya or whatsoever for me I'm not taking that way because nagre-research din ako and meron mga scientific explanation about that one and uh, if you are also curious about this you may also uh, check it or review it on social media and uh, other platforms on what being an empath is okay who knows? Baka ikaw akala mo nababaliw ko na or what or bipolar whatsoever but turn out pala you're an empath. I will give you some um, ways on how you will be able to know. Some lang to. I might uh, provide a vlog that will tackle the, sim the, the signs that you are what. But these are just few. One, that would be masyado kang sensitive. It is the main um, sign. It is one of the main signs na empath ka. Sensitive ka. Sinasabihin ka na ng mga tao, napakaiyakan mo. Lahat nila nakamdaman mo. So, pinipigilan mo pero hindi naman. Pangalawa, ka, tulad ng pagiging sensitive, hindi mo kayang manood ng mga violent films at saka ng mga nakakalungkot ng mga bagay ng mga movies or if mapanood mo man nararamdaman mo kung ano yung nararamdaman ng mga tao dun sa movie so medyo hindi, yun ang isa sa sign na empath ka pangatlo all of, some of us pala are introvert pero kalimitan sa empath is introvert. Hindi ko sinasabing lahat, pero karamihan sa amin ay introvert. Masaya kami na mag-isa, not because ayaw namin may kasama. It's because nare-recharge kami, lalo na kapag marami kami nakasalamuhang tao. Doon namin nakukuha yung inner peace kasi sobrang madalas nga kami makaramdam ng mga bagay-bagay, ng emotions ng iba o ng energies sa paligid ang apat, siguro maraming makakarelate dito, magnet ka sa mga narcissist. Not necessarily narcissist na boyfriend or asawa, but anyone na narcissist. Hindi ibig sabihin ng narcissist yung sobrang vain ha, hindi yung pagiging vain. If you will dig deeper and if you will uh, research further, being a narcissist means yung mga halos walang maramdaman na awa para sa ibang tao yung tipo mahilig mo ng kwento so anyone from school from the office lagi na lang ikaw na papagdiskitahan na for some reason bakit ako bakit ako yung napagdiskitahan or bakit kita na meet na meet or what so that is the fourth ba or third basta next sign na empath ka and then ano pa ba and then itong lumao na lang is another sign din ng pagiging empath is yung ability to feel yeah to feel yung mga tao kapag ikaw nananahimik ka sa isang tabi bigla na lang laging may tumatabi sa'yo or kumakausap sa'yo na someone minsan nga hindi mo kilala eh tatabi sa'yo, pikikwento yung buhay niya sa'yo. For some reason, mapupunta yung usapan sa kwento sa Google sa'yo. I remember one time, kausap ko yung anak ko sa isang park sa Makati. Kasi mahilig ako maglalakad sa park. Tapos, kinausap ko yung anak ko na I love you, ganyan-ganyan. May namapit sa'kin, ali. So, nakagards up ako. Or, basta babae siya. Nakagards up ako. Bigla niya sinabi, anak mo yun? Sabi niya sa'kin. Ah, opo, ano ko, sabi ko. Alam mo, sabi niya, matagal ko na rin hindi nakakausap ng anak ko. Ilang taon na rin. 
Kasi nagtatrabaho ko dito. Hanggang sa, of course, girls up pa rin ako. Lagi naman gano'n. Kasi sanay na ako na may kumakausap sa akin na hindi ko naman talaga kilala or hindi ko ka-close. Bigla na lang kumakausap sa akin. So, hanggang sa lumaon, lumalim na ng lumalim. Hanggang yung nararamdaman niyan. Ang lungkot-lungkot na niya. Kung sino man siya, ate, pasensya na sinishare ko. Pero, yun yung parang isa sa sign na empath ka. Because you are absorbing those things. Okay? Now, I'm sharing this because baka merong iba pa sa inyo. Baka meron pang iba dyan na nagwa-wonder. Ano tong nararamdaman ko? So, might as well try to check on what it means. Okay? Yung iba manghuhula, akala nila manghuhula sila. Or akala ng ibang tao manghuhula yung mga ganong uri ng tao. But no. For me ha, for me, HSP or an ESP is being part or is part of being a highly sensitive person. Hindi kami manghuhula pero nararamdaman namin kung ano yung mangyayari. May something na mangyayari though hindi man namin ma-pinpoint kung ano yun. That is uh, ESP. I think it's extrasensory perception. Basta ESP. Uh, yeah. Hindi namin nahuhulaan ng mga bagay-bagay pero nararamdaman namin. Nararamdaman namin kung ano yung nangyayari. Kung ano yung mangyayari. I don't consider it as a religious uh, or parang propeta ka or what. It's just something that you feel. And for me, it's a gift. It's a gift na kailangan i-cultivate not for witchcraft or not for those kinds of things, but something na makakatulong. We are, I'm trying to, to think about it as we are human psychologists na hindi na kailangan mag -aral. So how we will be able to help is the most important thing that all of us can do. Hindi lahat empath hindi lahat nakakaramdam ng sobrang deep level. So, if you are one of us, if you are one of those empaths out there, try to use that gift to help. To help the other people who needs help. Kahit na hindi nila, mismong, misan mismong sila, hindi nila alam eh, na kailangan nila ng help. So, yeah. Uh, in the next vlogs that I will be giving, I might share some things about about it, about this. I'm not sure if it's a condition or what. But yeah, try to check on what's the meaning of being an empath if you're just curious about it. And uh, I think that's basically it. Have a nice day and uh, thank you. Hopefully may natutunan kayo or kahit hindi man natutunan, may introductory kayo on what is it like on being a highly sensitive individual or empath. This is Mouseki's channel. Bye-bye. Till my next vlog. Bye.